What up, IDS Mob? It's Harry Wilmington here. Welcome to Harry Dating Convos. So I'm out here in Virginia, and I am at my 20th year reunion for my college class. And so I'm taking this short little video to talk to you guys about perspective, because there are some of you guys that maybe maybe younger, maybe you're in your like 20s, maybe even early 30s, and you're around women, and for whatever reason, you're intimidated by them, you see them as having like all the power and having all the say in your emotions and how you feel about them and them being the determiners of if you're gonna get with them or not, right? And I remember when I was like 18, 19, 20, when I was in college here, that I was just so scared and nervous around women, like being able to approach them and talk to them, let alone being able to actually do things like ask them on dates and or be very, very weary about them potentially knowing how I felt about them. Like I just looked at women at the time as these really scary things, not in a sense of like they were going to browbeat me and stuff like that, but in a sense of like, it just felt like they had all the power and all the control that they knew more about the game than I did and that they knew more about relationships and attraction. And I didn't have the keys to any of that. I didn't have the keys to what I need to say the kind of swag I needed to have and what I needed to do to get them. But more importantly, I just looked at them as like, they just knew everything. And so I was very afraid at times to like let things be known and try to talk to them and stuff like that, right? So now I'm 42 and going back to homecoming, I've gone to a lot of events where there's people in my class that are my age that I knew back then that I'm being able to talk to and hang around with now, right? But there are also events that I'm going to on campus that allow for both alumni and current students to go. And so, for example, a couple of nights ago, the Divine Nine, the sororities and fraternities here, had a step show where the current enrolled uh, fraternity members and sorority members have a step show, right? And so everybody's invited to that. And so I'm standing in line waiting to get into this show. And I'm looking at all of the older students as well as the current students that are there. And there are a lot of freshmen that are in the line, right? And so I'm looking and I'm staring at the faces of all these young women that are there that it's their first year at college. They're probably like 17 or 18 years old, right? Now me, I, I don't tend to date that young for one. Like I'm looking at the faces objectively, like, oh my God, they look like children. Like they look like they know nothing. They look like they're darn near lost half the time. You can see in, especially in the faces of the women I'm looking at, you can see like the, the faces of like insecurity they have about themselves. And they're looking around at other women that they think, oh my God, maybe they're better than me or they look better, they're taller, they have more clout, whatever. But I'm looking and they just have such youthful baby faces that look so innocent that objectively I can look at them and say, oh, they've had no experience. Like they have a little experience, but this is probably their first time away from home, their first time away from the being under the thumb of their mom and dad. And they're just trying to figure it out. And they, as much as they're trying to put on the front, they have no idea what's going on. And I stress that because again, when I was 18, 19, 20, I thought these girls out there like knew everything and they had all the confidence in the world, way more confidence than I did. And therefore it was gonna be very hard for me to be able to connect with them because who am I? I'm just a guy, but they seem to have guys falling all over them. And so therefore they have more of the power. And so whatever, you know? And now at being an older guy, I had the perspective of like looking at them like, oh, they have no idea what they're doing. And this is probably, this is just a sidebar conversation. This is probably why a lot of older guys will pray after younger women because they are seeing long ago what I'm seeing now, which is that yes, they don't know what they're doing and they are in fact easier to get with because they don't have the experience of being screwed over by guys. Now, I don't want you to be a guy that screws over women. So I don't want you to have that perspective, but I'm talking to you about this because I want you to understand if you are a young guy, that is 18 to like 25, or even if you're a guy that hasn't had a lot of dating experience, and so therefore you might be in your late 20s, early 30s, and you're just so nervous about approaching women. Like you're thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. They're gonna see it and they're gonna call me out. And you know, to us, when we have crushes on women, it's very easy for us to get blinded and think like, oh my God, like I gotta say the right thing or do the right thing, or they're gonna blow me off. 
And I'm here to tell you, again, based on what I saw and the perspective I now have as an older guy at, for these younger women, ages like 17 to even like 22, I can assure you guys, whatever agenda you think they have, it is not that thought out. They are not as, as they're not smarter than you. Not to say that they're dumb, but I'm saying that you're thinking that they have the game up over you. And the only difference is that you are thinking that you're less than because they got a pretty face and look good. And I'm looking at them as an older guy like, oh, these women have no idea. Like they're just as insecure. They're just as lost out here. They're just as much trying to figure out as we are. And that's probably why women get so overwhelmed when us guys are looking at them and putting them on pedestals. Because again, at 18, I was putting other 18, 19 year old women on a pedestal. And I'm looking at these girls like, they know they don't deserve to be on a pedestal, which is why they get overwhelmed when we as guys have the perspective of them as they're the greatest thing ever. And we got to treat them 100% great all the time. And we got to make sure that they, they know that we think we're below them. And these girls are not looking for guys that are below them, especially the, the younger they are. They're like, if anything, they want a guy that's more experienced, that can teach them stuff, that's going to be able to lead them and potentially have the confidence that she can lean on. Because women are going to be leaning on to your confidence and looking to your leadership in order to have more clarity about themselves and to feel more confident about themselves. And so I stress this because I don't want you to look at any woman anymore and think, she must think she's better than me. She must think that I'm less than whatever. Because as you get older, you're going to start to see what I've seen as I've gotten older, which is that women at large, one, they run around in their heads all day long, comparing themselves to the world at large, but especially to other women. Like I'm looking at, I, I went to a parade this morning and I'm seeing like, you know, a line of, you know, we'll say 19 or 22 year old women that are in these various cheer groups and they're on there cheering. And then they do the little pause where they got a pose for the crowd. And I'm looking at all these women, like all these women here dressed up today thinking I got to look the best I possibly can because I got to outshine the woman next to me. Did I do a good job? And in their face, you can see, I hope the crowd likes me. I hope that, and, and this is the perspective guys don't see because all we're thinking is they got boobs in the butt and look curvy and therefore I'm intimidated. And they're thinking about so many other things that they don't understand why guys are coming to them with that thought process. And that's why the guys that typically went out, A, are either older or B, have a hell of big amount of confidence because they don't really have it. And you guys aren't seeing it because you're in your head about how good she looks. If you, get, if you remove the part of the equation where you're looking at how hot she is and start looking at her actual face and start looking at you know, the times where like women are trying to just stand there and like their eyes are going like this and looking around, like you will see the nervousness and the lack of confidence that is within them because you're thinking they have all this stuff and they do not. Not all women, but a fair portion of them are still sitting there like, I'm not the most confident person in the world, but the world's going to see that as such because guys are going to look at me, say I'm hot and think because I'm hot, I got confidence and I don't. This is also, by the way, why it's actually easier to hit on hotter girls because the hotter they are, I can assure you, the more lacking in self-confidence they are because they're like the world th is judging me on my looks and that's all i have to bank on oh my god i gotta upkeep my looks i don't know if i can always do that so it's been a really eye-opening experience to see that like seeing these these girls that if i was in college right now at age 18 19 20 all these women that i see that are at that age that i'd be intimidated by at this age they look immature they look darn near childish and i can see in their faces they don't have it all together they don't have it, the world figured out as much as guys think they do. And that's a good thing for you to understand because then you will stop putting women on these pedestals. You will stop thinking that they think that they're better than you because they really don't. And ideally, you'll start to understand that as you build your confidence, you're going to probably end up having a higher level of confidence than most women. And that's going to be desirable for women that are seeking out somebody that's going to help them with their confidence. Okay. So hopefully, you learn something from that. If nothing else, please, please, please start looking at women objectively in a different way because as you're gonna, what's going to happen is you're going to get older and realize, oh, crap, like if I just had a different perspective when I was younger, then I wouldn't be so afraid of these women that I was afraid of back then. And then even then, you might be with women now. You might be like 30 or 40 and still intimidated by a woman because of her looks. And you're thinking, again, she's got it all put together. I'm telling you. They do not. And it's interesting to, to, for me to get that perspective just coming home for homecoming, you know? So hopefully you learned something from that.
Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll have more videos out once I actually get back home because I got a vacation for the homecoming this weekend. And then actually next weekend, I'm going to Bali. So I'll get to film some stuff in Bali. That'll be kind of cool for you guys to see. And in the meantime, guys, also, if you want a leg up in your education, I find the biggest problem that most men have is that they really don't know the ins and outs of the game, which can, in fact, affect your confidence and your ability to want to approach women. I got a whole program that is a membership program that houses all of the courses you will ever need in life to figure out women, whether it's the Smart Digital Dating Program, the Seven Steps to Better Communication with Women Program, the complete blueprint that I have that's a step-by-step -step guide for how to go from dating a woman to making her the girlfriend. Uh, we got interviews with experts, and I pop in and do regular uh, lives where you guys can ask me questions and politic with me and ask any questions you may have about your own dating life. It's really, really great. It's a small monthly fee. You can cancel any time, but definitely check it out because I'm sure it's going to be able to help you like it's helped plenty of my other students, okay? But thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.